Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy National Day! I'm Victoria Wondersnatch and today I'm going to do my long-awaited nail tutorial, alright? I'm going to do a red and white with stars and the moon to celebrate our Singapore flag, okay? And teach you how to make these nails, okay? They're basically Singapore flag nails and I've put little stars and the moon on top of them, alright? And I'm going to try to get as many of these stars and the moons on my face as possible as well, okay? If that's something you're going to see, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for the post notifications, alright? Okay? So, let's get started. Alright, I'm back! Okay, my brows are gone. So today I'm going to go for a red and white stars and a moon look, okay, to celebrate our national day and our Singapore flag. Our Singapore flag is red on top and white at the bottom with a moon and five stars, okay, in this pentagon shape. Alright, the five stars represent justice, peace, equality, democracy, and equality. <laughs> I gotta check that one. <laughs> and the moon represents a rising nation, okay? Watching the Olympics, there are a lot of flags with the similar colours, okay? This red on top, white on the bottom for the Indonesian flag, the Monaco flag, and the Hesse flag. And the Polish flag is basically that upside down. And there's this guy in the audience at the opening ceremony waving the Singapore flag upside down, pretending it's a Polish flag. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm gonna do my Singapore flag nails. I'm gonna talk a bit about my nail process as well. Okay, I've collected a lot of these nails over the years. Some from like beauty shops in America. I think I even bought some like in South America, I think when I was visiting there once. Okay, they have really a lot of these really good fake nails and a lot of AliExpress as well. Okay, so for example, I have this. I got this in New York. These are big um, squarish nails, okay? So these are quite nice for filing down. I have also these from, from New York. These are more stiletto type nails, okay? And these are really good for really really glamorous looks. I personally like these really small, small rounded nails. These are better for like more natural looks. These are like really small, okay, and these, they look really natural. I like these. These are what they call coffin nails, so they're kind of like tapered to the top but flat, okay, and these are also really nice for a kind of a glamorous, a bit more modern look. And we've got these flat square nails as well, you know, flat and square. These are quite cool to wear. And then from AliExpress, I buy these really long ones. So I have sharp ones, these really, really sharp ones that, that I, I use for like more fantasy looks. And then I have, of course, these big flat ones. Okay, these, these are really long and really square. And these are the ones that I'm actually using today for my Singapore flag look. All right, so I'm just going to start on my makeup, but here's the tutorial on how I made my nails. I'll be back when I'm almost done. Alright, so I think I'm going to be doing my nail tutorial today. Right now I'm going to make some nails for a national day. So I'm going to do a Singapore flag nail. Okay, so what I usually do, as you can see, I hoard all my boxes. Okay, so I usually just cut out a panel here. So I, I usually just stick one that's pretty big. Okay, so there have been a few nail tutorials online recently. But I think this is a really good way. So masking tape. Okay, it tears really easily. Sticky side up. I'm just going to lay this like that. And another piece just to hold it down. Okay, so this gives us a sticky area to put our nails. Okay, so, so for this look, I will be going for my long claws, these big white claws. Okay, and these are from AliExpress. They come in huge bags. I think it was like <laughs> six bucks for hundreds. So I'm gonna get rid of all these tabs that sometimes they come with. So these are just snip off. Just size them before you start using them. So these will fit nicely there, right? Okay, so these are our baby nails, little nails. So these go on the end. You can press them down and they just stick so they don't move. Okay, next, so fit here. Some of them have a little dip, okay, where it fits, supposed to fit on your nail. So make sure that part is pointing down. Okay, this fits there. All right, so now I've got both hands, okay, for the thumb and everything, all according to size. I'm just gonna line them up a little bit more evenly. So these are gonna be like the Singapore flag. So they'll be half red, half white, with stars and moon. And basically it's gonna be red on top so it's going to look a bit like french tips like a french tip singapore flag i usually use spray paint to paint my nails which is so much easier 
I'm just going to mask the bottom half. Okay, so let's get some masking tape. Make sure these are all nice and masked. Okay, so these are all wrapped up. And now I've got some stickers and I've drawn stars and moons. And I'm using an X-Acto knife to just cut them all out. Okay, and these are going to be masking some stars and moon shapes. Extremely fiddly. Okay, so I have cut out little pieces of stars and moons and I'm just going to be sticking them all over these nails. Trying to get the stars off the sticker after we've cut them and not that easy. You know what, I think I might just go out and buy a whole bunch of stickers. Yeah, why do we do that? Okay, woo! Alright, this is the next day and I went and bought some stickers. So I found some stickers with stars. I found some smaller stars here. I, have to waste, I, I might have to waste some of these others, but anyway, some stickers. And I decided to switch up the position of the moon so that it's there, it looks more like the flag. And also, it looks like fingernails, so it looks really, really gross, okay? So that, that, I think it'll be quite cool to have these like, moon fingernails. All right, so I'm just gonna put on these stickers on. Okay, so these stars will almost be like cascading down. Got a couple of um, forceps to do this. So the star placement is just as artistic as you want it to be. This other one has smaller stars. Much easier to use these <laughs> rather than try to cut out tiny stars. You might want to just look in all your sticker shops and craft shops where they sell stars. These are the smallest ones I could find. So each nail has one moon and five stars, just like the Singapore flag. See, so it took a lot of searching, but I'm basically looking for tiny stars like that to fit under the nails. Okay, there, yeah, so each one has five stars. There's a song called Five Stars Rising Out of the Stormy Sea. Okay, and now we spray it. Now we are going to my little craft bathroom. <laughs> so the mine I have lined with top to do all my spray painting. Pump these down. So we don't get it on the walls. Make sure they're all flat and stuck down to the sticky part of the masking tape. Make sure all the stickers are also flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my red spray paint. Okay, and when you're doing when you're spraying these, just spray from a distance. Don't coat it like really thick, if not it's gonna look really uneven. Just go spray, spray it gently. Okay, and wait for that to dry. Okay, so it's dry, so I'm going in for a second coat. All right, so now it's um, two coats dry. Okay, and now I've got this other spray, and it's a it's a lacquer spray, so it makes it look nice and shiny, like um, actual nail polish. Okay, and this one just goes over that. Okay, wait for that to dry. All right, so it's all nice and dry, nice and shiny, all lacquered, and now I'm just going to remove all this masking tape. Okay, and look, perfect Singapore flag. Oh no, some of it didn't cover properly. You know, you get the idea. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's how I paint my nails. I mean, this is a, a little bit more of a different one because it's a Singapore flag. But normally, I would do this also for all my other nails. For example, I did these plaid ones for my um, tartan look for Christmas last time. So I just basically painted them, spray painted them red and then drew on the lines. These guys I, I did for my porcelain look for Chinese New Year. So you haven't managed to reuse this yet, but so basically the same. So I have this like, I like this system where it's just stuck on a piece of cardboard and it's easy to store as well. Uh, here are my oil slick nails that I did for my house of Miss Joachim collab. So basically after spray painting, I just glue on a whole bunch of rhinestones. Okay, and it's quite easy to, to store these as well. So these are nice and shiny. Okay, and now we remove all those little stickers. 
on a piece of masking tape so it sticks to it. That's the idea. I'm just gonna remove all these and I'll be right back. All right, so that's how I made my nails. So actually I added on a little bit of an accoutrement to the nails. I fixed the red bits, I painted it white, and then I used a plastic cup, cut it up for this curved bit, and <laughs> added these little stars and moon at the tips, so they're like little um, fireworks coming off. All right, so, and I did my red and white look with um, stars and moon there too. So the Singapore flag, we're only actually allowed to hang it up outside our houses. Previously, it was only in August for our National Day month, but now it's extended from July to September. Um, I think it's mainly because they don't want the flag to be left out and then get all weathered and everything and look horrible. So um, we're not allowed to put it up all year. And there are apparently rules <laughs> against putting it in costume and everything. So hopefully they, they will overlook this gorgeous look I'm doing today. Oh, and I also did the headband. So I used the same technique for this headband and I made this Stars in the Moon headband too. All right, so I'm going to get into my final look and I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to pop back to show you how I put on my nails. I have these tap gel stickers, which I got off AliExpress. They're really, really cheap, like $2 for a whole bunch. And they are really strong. The only thing you have to remember is to clean your nails first with alcohol, okay? So that they stick really, really, really well. So they're basically just tabs like that and then just paste them. And they all come in perfect sizing as well. Okay, I'll link these down below also. Okay, they are really, really good and strong. All right, so I'm just gonna get these nails on and I'll be right back with the finished look. All right, so there we go. Got all the nails on now. Okay, and I have my little stars and the moon ding dangling off the nails too. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a national day party right there. <laughs> All right, so that's my nail tutorial, and it's a happy national day for all Singaporeans, and all over the world also. <laughs> and also, I have my red and white lip, with a little bit of a shine to look like the stars and the moon as well. And my little headband tiara. Maybe I should bejeweled it, but you know, maybe next time. All right, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and ring that post notifications bell also, all right? Okay, I've got a few collabs coming up for the rest of the year, so just stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye! that you <laughs> can't do anything with. I feel like I should have put on a necklace, but <laughs> can't do anything now with these nails on. <laughs>